Hello my friends and welcome to Grant's View. Today I am in the fish room and I want to answer one of your questions. How do I filter all of my stock tanks? For years I have been making filters for all of my aquariums and stock ponds and they are found by far the best type of bulk filters. So I have been making scaled down versions of these and they work extremely well. I did a video recently of the full size version of the bog filter that I use on my cottage pond. This is exactly the same principle but smaller. I was trying to think if there are any downside to these filters. And the only thing I can think of is that because of the water and the gravel, they are heavy. But they not, do not have to be made as big as I make them. I know some people that make them out of five gallon buckets, and then they service three or four aquariums with these. The first thing I do is drill three holes in the garbage bin, two at the top where I usually use a uniseal and then at the bottom where I usually use a bulkhead. The reason for this is that the bulkhead is a lot more rigid and this bottom one is for a clean out valve so that when the valve is turned on and off with a uniseal there is movement and that can cause the valve to leak. I normally use one inch PVC pipe on all the plumbing. First of all, I fit a pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom of the container. This is for the pump and go to the bottom void space. Then I put an elbow on and take it across the bottom. The pipe has to have holes drilled into it to allow the pond water to enter the void. Make the holes about a quarter of an inch or bigger so that any solids can pass through. Next, I put one inch pipe in the opposite side of an overflow. This goes back into the stock pond. Again, I usually use one inch PVC, but on my 400 gallon tank, I used one and a half inch because it was a bigger pump and so more flow. Then at the bottom of the container, I put one inch PVC and on the outside a valve. This is for a clean out. I must say that cleaning this filter is so easy. You just periodically drain the whole container and then let it fill up by itself. What could be easier? I do mine every couple of months, but it depends on the volume of the fish that you have. You have to make a bottom plate that is perforated to allow the water to rise through it. I have used all sorts of things for this, old container lids or egg crate if you can get it. Really, it is only to support the rock and keep the void space for larger sediment. Next, you need a layer of rock, about three to four inches in diameter, around five or six inches deep. Then a layer of gravel one or two inches in diameter and five or six inches deep. Lastly a layer of pea gravel or something small and again five to six inches deep. Make sure you wash all of your gravel thoroughly. That is it, you are done. Now I have found that it takes a little while sometimes a week or two before you start to see any clarity in your stock pond. Believe me, you will, and you will be amazed. Crystal clear water, isn't that what everybody wants? Look, you can even see the power head. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.